Hello and welcome to eighth grade English. This is ELA with Dr. Pitts. A little bit about me. I did my bachelor's and master's degrees at Florida Atlantic University in South Florida, which is where I'm from. And then I came to Tallahassee to do a PhD in English at FSU. I have eight years of experience teaching college English, so I have a lot of background knowing what things people are looking for in higher education and the kind of foundational skills that we need to develop early on, which is why I decided to come to middle school. This is now my fourth year at TSMS, and I am so thrilled to be embarking on this journey with you this year. Let's check out our class website for a little bit more information. I'll be sending out this link to everybody, but our website is sites.google.com slash view slash pits ELA. So first off, let's check out the homepage here. Um, have a little bit of information about our class and about me. All of our assignments are going to be posted here in addition to Google Classroom. This is going to be a site for parents and students to keep track of weekly assignments, to-do lists, and also to view resources and links. I also have a whole bunch of reading resources available, which are extremely useful, especially for virtual learning, but also in general. So I have a whole bunch of links here for online books that you can access for free, and I highly recommend exploring here. So all of these websites are free to use and have a bunch of really interesting and fun books. We also are going to have a class blog here where I can keep students and parents informed about things that are going on in our class. And you'll see here, I already have my first blog post. So let's talk a little bit more about our class specifically. For the required materials, on the left you'll see required materials for in-person and on the right you will see required materials for distance learners. So in person, you will need a composition notebook that is specifically for English, no sharing. You will also need a binder with dividers that can be used for multiple classes. You will need headphones, absolutely no Bluetooth are allowed. You need to have headphones that connect to a computer physically with a cord. And you will also need to bring your own supplies. We're not going to have uh, class supplies that are shared. So for example, loose leaf paper, pens, pencils, color pencils, or crayons. Please make sure that you bring your own every day. If you're a distance learner, you will need headphones, internet access, and a device with a camera. Everybody is expected to do weekly homework assignments and that will be starting from very the very beginning. I expect all I expect all students to read at home and the goal there is a minimum of 20 minutes a day. I will have students complete a weekly reading log to reflect that. I um, do have a well-stocked class library and we're developing protocols to make that safe for students in the age of COVID, but I do strongly recommend exploring those digital reading resources that I outlined on our class website. Let's talk a little bit about expectations and rules and consequences. So class rules and expectations, real simple here. Be respectful, stay put, raise your hand when you want to contribute, follow directions and participate. And this is extremely important for students who are on campus. Masks are required. So if you have not yet experienced that, wearing a mask for long periods of time, I strongly recommend that you first off, um, do a little bit of research to figure out the best way to wear that mask safely and practice wearing it for extended periods of time because it does take a little bit of getting used to. 
If we have issues with discipline and behavior, first, I will give the student a warning. At the second instance, I will document that and assign a conduct point. And if the behavior continues, I will be contacting parents. And beyond those basic consequences, anybody who is consistently, persistently disruptive may earn a detention or a referral. So let's avoid that, please. Let's talk a little bit about summer reading assignments. All of this information is on our TSMS website. That's schoolofmathandscience.org. If you go to academics in the menu bar and then down to summer assignments, you will see all of the information you need. Here it is in more detail. First off, our book our uh, summer reading assignments are due September 11th. That is the second Friday of the school year. And we have a few choices here. We also have a bunch of choices for how students can demonstrate that they understand what they read and are reflecting on that. I wanna call attention to a couple of these stories that are available for free online. Just Google the title and add PDF and it will pop right up. Parents, you can help your students succeed, especially now more than ever, by talking to them about their assignments, reflecting on their on the materials that they're learning with them, looking at those um, schedules and due dates, and keeping students accountable. If a student has a question before, while they're completing the assignment, the best time to ask that question is before the due date. So let's try to stay proactive and together we can keep everybody on track. Please do keep in contact. I am very communicative and I am more than happy to talk about what is going on and to troubleshoot, to, um, to just you know work through whatever needs to be worked through. You can contact me through the Remind app. I will strongly recommend that you download that if you have not already. We have two course codes for that. If your student is in eighth grade on level, that is their code. And if your student is in eighth grade advanced, this is their code. I'm also available via email and by phone or text. This is my Google Voice number. And I do respond to all messages within 24 hours or 48 hours within um, weekends and breaks. Please keep in contact. Please reach out. I'm here to help. And I look forward to this school year. We're going to have an amazing time. Have a great one.